Peggy 18. The kill cam is a key part of Sniper Elite. We introduced it in the first game as a way to track the bullet in slow motion from the player's gun all the way to their target. For Sniper Elite V2, we introduced a whole new level of uh, detail to it where we actually track the bullet through their targets in X-ray and watching as it smashed bones that it came in contact with. And for Sniper Elite 3, we want to take it a step further to really take advantage of the power of the new consoles and what we can do on PC. So the X-ray kill cam is triggered if the player gets a really good score, and that's based on whether the enemy is moving, the range of the shot, and also the area that the player is aiming for on that target. So within the Sniper Elite franchise, the kill cam really gives us a chance to experiment a bit more with the sound while the rest of the game stays relatively realistic. We took the sounds of cars and aeroplanes and other high-speed vehicles, laid them on top of each other, stretched them out, played with the pitch, really kind of conveyed that like, feeling of speed and the fact that you were travelling with that bullet. The kill cam is kind of like, think of it as uh, layers of an onion and you're peeling those away and the x-ray is all about the bullet travelling through. On V2 there were three layers, there was the outer skin of the character, there were the bones and then there was the, uh, the actual organs inside that. Well, we've added an extra two layers to that now. There's a full muscle tissue layer and also a circulatory system and the layers that were there have been comprehensively reworked. So there's a difference with when the bullet hits the bone over the... Uh, the kill cams we had in V2. There we had sort of predefined areas where the bone could snap because we had to set it up all beforehand. But now the, the bone can actually fracture dynamically, so the, the fracture will occur in the bone at the exact point of in, impact with the bullet. We now actually have 3D mesh particles as well, so there are blobs of blood which will, which will come out, which again, instead of just being little 2D images which are laid onto the screen, uh, these are actually three-dimensional, give more shape. So the whole thing sort of just comes together to give you a, a, a greater sense of, of the bone shattering in a more realistic manner. One of the key reasons for going into all that detail is to illustrate why people were so frightened of snipers in World War II, or indeed in any conflict. The damage done by a sniper bullet is considerable, and so we're not flinching away from that, and we're showing to the player what it is that they are doing, playing as Carl Fairburn himself, the elite sniper, uh, why the enemy is so frightened of him. So obviously the money shot of the kill cam is that final bullet impact and we really wanted to get across the kind of breaking of bones and the splitting of organs and that tearing of muscle and sinew. So we took a little trip down to local grocers and bought all manners of fruit and veg and spent a few days snapping them and twisting them, uh, breaking them, squishing them between our hands to get the uh, squelchy and cracky noises that we needed for all of the bones and organs. In addition to the, um, the extra detail we've added into the, uh, the human targets for the kill cam, we're also, this time around, introducing vehicle kill cams. So some of the vehicle adversaries you come across in the game, like half-tracks and trucks and tanks, uh, we'll, uh, we're actually showing those in intricate detail as the bullet passes into them and you take them out with a well-placed shot. Uh, we're really pleased with the way everything's coming together and we're looking forward to showing you more of what we've been talking about in the run-up to the release of the game.